Hey guys and welcome back to the Long Dark. This is Ronyan and we're in the middle of the interloper run. We're I believe 20 or 21 days in, close to 21 at this point. And in the last last episode we just kind of hung around the Quonset hood and sort of took it uh, played it safe after that one wolf attack. I really got to work on my uh, bow skills cuz I keep missing those shots. Yeah, now we're in a fishing hut, kind of just using this as a place to warm up before, and uh, we go up to Jackrabbit Island. And once I get up there, I'm going to plant some snares out in front of the uh, house there. So I'm almost uh, completely drained here, so that's uh, I'm going to need to take care of that pretty quick. And one hour of daylight left, we're going to go ahead and make a run for the house up here. Sorry, I know it's pretty dark, guys, but... Try to bear with me. Hopefully you can see decently. Kind of paranoid about hitting another wolf here, and I can't really see that good. Would not want to end the run here. I've got uh, only 29% condition now. But if I can just make it up there and go to sleep, that'll go that'll go up pretty fast. So let's use the brand, which is sort of a deprecated feature now that the new uh, Faithful Cartographer update came out. But yeah, this is still running the 0 0.393 version. I think that's right, 393. Anyways, it's still, I believe, Resolute Outfitter is the name of it. This was recorded just prior to Faithful Cartographer being uh, released. So I don't have a lot of the new mechanics in this run. But a new run of Interloper on Faithful Cartographer is coming soon. And I'm going to do a slightly different strategy. I think I'm going to try to get Desolation Point as a starting point. Because I've not had many successful runs start there. But now that uh, now that the uh, stone throwing at the rabbits and uh, collecting rabbits early as possible. That may change pretty, uh, pretty dramatically. I found that combining that with beach combing is a pretty good strategy early on in the game. You can collect like two or three rabbits on the first day, or maybe more. Okay, so let's make our way up this hill. Collected a little bit of the uh, lichen here. Alright. I do already have a couple of snares planted here at least. I need to reset this one. It's, I think I need to reset both of these because that was uh, damaged. Uh, sometimes they just randomly get uh, damaged. It's like an animal got trapped in it and then escaped maybe. But yeah, we can, uh, we can drop those two back down and then we can Drop the other two that I just crafted in the last episode down. So I like to have a total of four sitting out here. And occasionally you can set them up the day before we go to bed and wake up the next morning and there all four of them have, will have a rabbit in them. So they do tend to return pretty quick. They tend to catch a rabbit pretty fast. Eat some cattail stock here to keep from uh, keep my calories up. And I'm just collecting sticks to in case I need to build a fire. Basically, collect sticks to collect sticks because you always need sticks in this mode. And actually, looking at that, at 25% uh, cabin fever risk, I could. It's probably not safe to sleep in this house. I mean, I can try it, but it it might give me cabin fever, or it might be pretty close to giving me cabin fever when I get up. 
Um, let's see, what should I do here? I could probably get enough sticks together to to build the shelter. I have 19. I need. I think I need 15 for the for shelter. So yeah, we're gonna go out and look for some more sticks. We're going to shelter in place, hopefully right next to this house. There doesn't tend to be wolves in this area, right around this house. On Jackrabbit Island, but there are there is one that hangs around the misanthropes. See, so I already got a couple of sticks there. I need, uh, I think, about four more. Oh, what? I don't know that I've ever been detected by a wolf there before. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Uh, I can sleep in the bed for a short period of time and be okay. Maybe that'll chase the wolf off. And eat some more of the wolf meter. Actually, I've never seen a wolf uh, around that area before that I can remember. I'm going to go ahead and sleep the full time. I'm curious to see what, what's going to happen with the cabin fever risk. I don't think it's quite high enough for me to get cabin fever from that. Oh yeah, it barely went up at all. So it only goes up 7% in 10 hours. Now that's not, that's not very scary. Okay, let's go ahead and break down. We need to get the supplies to build that shelter anyway, so let's break down these curtains. So we get four cloth now, plus whatever we had before. Just want to eat a little bit to keep my condition from dropping. And I should have selected the hand there, but accidentally used the knife. So yeah, six. Took six cloth out of the house. And we're gonna go out and see if we can shoot something here. Hopefully the wolf's not still around this area. Checking the traps, looks like I don't have anything yet. So that's that's too bad because I'm running low on wolf meat. But they should be those traps should deliver by the time I need I really need it. Okay. Doesn't look like the wolf is still around, from what I can tell. Of course, it's foggy, so it's pretty difficult to see if he was around. But you always hear him anyways. I'd like to do some hunting fairly soon. Hunting or, or fishing, we can go to the fishing hood if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and build this shelter since I have the materials. It cost me some condition, but uh, not too much. Oh, and I've got rabbits in the, in the uh, snares now. Just noticed that. At least two of them. So we're going to go ahead and take take some time in this building to warm up. I'm going to go ahead and break down one of the uh, tables in here. Just have more reclaimed wood in case I need it. You can get into a pattern, because it's hard to collect uh, when the weather gets bad, it's hard to collect wood outside. So you can get into a pattern of just chopping down everything in all the houses. And it's somewhat risky to be honest. 
You can go through your supply of, of uh, reclaimed wood really fast that way. But it's, you can do some of it and you'll be okay. You know, the other thing is it, it, of course, damages your tools, your hatchet. I guess that's one, that would be one upside to continuing to carry the heavy hammer would be you could smash stuff up with it and you don't really care a lot about the heavy hammer's condition, you just need it to be high enough to forge when you need it. I think things being equal, you'd rather put the condition loss onto the heavy hammer, you'd rather take condition loss from that than from the knife or the hatchet. It does depend on if there's more than one heavy hammer in the world. So I know I found two before an interloper, to my knowledge. Two is the most I've found. I think originally when they first came out with interloper there was it was locked to there being only one in the entire world. But I think they've gotten a little more lax on that. Because finding, finding one location in the entire world can be pretty ridiculous. So they did have like set spawn locations where it would show up, but I, I guess it was still a little too hard because I know I found two hammers in, in uh, Interloper before. I never had all that much trouble finding it until I played this run. This was the most trouble I've ever had finding the heavy hammer. Okay, it's snowing, and I just saw a limb pop into the uh, image there, which was a little disturbing. It's probably pretty cold to try and harvest these rabbits. So I do have four of them, which is nice. I can reset the snares, if nothing else. Let's see how, how, how uh, much this is going to... Uh, it's not too terrible. That did take me down to more than half, though, on the cold meter. And one thing I can do is start a fire back here. Kind of use it to warm up. To warm up, like, in between harvesting the rabbits. Another alternative would be to sleep inside, but... I don't want the cabin fever risk to come up on me. Alright, looks like probably this fire is going to light for me. Yep. Let's put some of that reclaimed wood on there. And start cooking the uh, raw rabbit meat. If we get this fire it serves kind of a dual purpose, it uh, it'll warm us up at the same time we're cooking, and it's a pretty good idea to use that tactic whenever possible. It's probably you probably don't want to actually go sleep to warm up a lot of the, the time. If you have anything else to do, you want to do it while you're standing next to the fire so you can get that action done and warm up at the same time. Like if you had clothes to repair, for example, you could do it next to a fire. Let's okay. throw at least one more reclaimed wood on here. I am completely warm now, which is nice. So I shouldn't have any problem getting more uh, meat off one of these rabbits if I want to do that. minutes. Uh, looks like the wind just shifted anyways. I think this fire is probably, it may not be sustainable beyond that point anyways. No, it's, it's actually warmed up quite a bit now. So I should be able to do a good amount of harvesting on these uh, rabbits. Let's reset the snares here.
And make sure you don't forget to do this. Alright, and uh, let's go dig into the hide and guts on this rabbit. Should be able to get all of them pretty easily with the temperature where it is now. Okay, that one's done. It's getting really dark though. Let's go ahead and get them off this guy. And I will need to warm up after this one though. I think I still have two rabbits that I haven't touched yet. And we can jump in the snow shelter here and use it to warm up. I guess what I can do is sleep for a couple hours, get up and harvest more, and then sleep a couple more hours and rinse leather and repeat that process. Just to keep my warmth up while I'm harvesting. So let's see, yeah, we are going to need to sleep here. It's not really that much of a choice. We'll go four hours on it, though. And I'm curious to see where my warmth meter is now. Okay, we're all the way up. But it's a lot colder than it was, unfortunately. So we're only going to be able to get one thing off of this rabbit. And even for that, we had to pay with some condition loss. Uh, let's go in here real quick and, uh, and drop some of these rabbit pelts. And the guts as well. No point in not in having them and not curing them at the same time if I can. Alright, I don't think I can do anything else. I have to get back into the shelter. Let's see. And we're gonna have to pass time because I'm fully rested. Fortunately, it looks it looks very, like it's probably very cold outside. Cause the temperature in the shelter is 39 degrees now, and that kind of scales pretty well with the outdoor temperature. See, so uh, 38 inside the shelter it doesn't look like the temperature dropped too much. Yeah, in fact, it feels like 8 degrees, which means I should be able to do more on these rabbits. This is going to be pushing it a little bit. Yeah, I ended up losing 4% there. But I got everything off that rabbit. And let's go ahead and drop the uh, guts and hide in here. Fifty percent condition. I'm doing okay on that. Not ideal, but I'm gonna eat some and then uh, we'll call it an episode here, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And uh, we're gonna have some new stuff coming soon. I'm gonna do the challenge and forlorn musk gig coming up, so look forward to that. Thanks.